Hey everybody, how's it going? We're playing some more Pokemon, so let's go ahead and continue. We just made it to this town. We call our we caught all of the Pokemon um right, you know, like in the past route. Hey trainer, use this, it's Rock Smash. Okay, so we can definitely use that in the in the cave prior to us. Maybe that's kind of what we need to do. We'll take a look though. Okay, bro, this guy juke me. Yo, this is a good deal. Why don't you trade a Pokeball for my dive ball? Yeah. Thanks. Okay, I mean, I'll... See, it's a good deal, isn't it? We can trade again tomorrow if you want. Um, yeah? Maybe I'll use that dive ball on a shiny star you. I'm very particularly about the speed of the Pokemon. That's why I'm wondering if you have any Pokemon with a speed of 87 or greater with you. Why not? There's more than Pokemon to speed. But I'd really like to see, see today a Pokemon with a greater speed than 87. I think... Shouldn't... I would think my Frogadier would, because it's a very fast Pokemon, but apparently there's not. Fossil Lab. Okay, so that's a Fossil Lab. What is over here? You can normally ride the Rhyhorn to get to Glittering Cave, but we're giving them a little break. Okay, so we have to do whatever in this town before we go over there. And then very quickly, what is down here? It's talking about Smeargle. What is this place? Welcome to Hotel. Okay, so this is a hotel. Um. Okay. Okay, so let's go check out the rooms to see if there's anything exciting in them. Um. So it's the Kalos region. Not bad. Today is Monday. I'm going to help you shift gears and peek right up by giving your Pokemon an alert ribbon. Okay. Um. What what does that do, friend? I'm Mr. Okay, this guy. Um. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Whatever. Just give me my old power, please. It's bonding time. Special defense power level one. Thank you. Um. So I know we get a bunch of old powers from like the online Nintendo system, but obviously we're not doing that. So um, it's cool that they implemented a couple ways where I could get my old powers not, you know. Why don't you use this? TM97. Um, oh, okay. So that changes depending on my location. That can be pretty useful, actually. But. Let's go ahead and go into the fossil place, the area we're originally supposed to be going into. Wait for me! Welcome, future archaeologists. You were drawn here by the mystique of fossils, no doubt. We're researching Mega Evolution, and we were wondering if you know anything about it. Oh, so you're Professor Sycamore students. I've heard about you. Mega Evolution, you say? I'm sorry, but all I know is that it has something to do with mysterious stones. Still, since you're students of the Professor, you must know about fossils, correct? Yes. Wonderful. I expect no less from his students. That's right. Fossils are the legacy of prehistoric Pokemon. You should really go to the dig site and see the real thing firsthand. Well, if you don't know anything about Mega Evolution, then hold on. Pokemon that can be restored from fossils just might have something to do with Mega Evolution. The assistant in Glittering Cave right now might know about that. What should we do? Well, it's time right here. Maybe I should go talk to that assistant. Um, okay, so the Glittering Cave we go. If you have a Pokemon Genesect, please let me know. Okay, so we need Genesect for him. Okay, it looks like a Dragonite up there. Okay. Okay, so this is just a PC. Can this map tell us anything? No? Alright, well, so we gotta go to the glittering cave. I'm guessing is right over here. Um Rocky helmet. Um oh okay. Well, whenever we get a really uh, attack of your Pokemon, we'll definitely put that on him. Can we jump on you, bud? Thanks, Rhyhorn. Okay. 
I'm guessing we can't fall off of the mountain. That's probably pretty important. Oh, wait, there are Pokemon here. Also, lag. Helio. Okay, game. Catch up, please. Um. Okay, hold on. So I'm, I'm gonna go to Ambrette Town. What in the world? Where are we? I don't even know where we're actually at. Let's go ahead and do a quick attack on the Helio. Almost killed it. Good thing we didn't. Alright, bag, ball. Let's go ahead and throw a luxury ball at it. I'm trying to see where the heck we're even at. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't particularly know where we're at. Frogadier level 33. Um, Smackdown? I'll go to Smackdown. Ooh. Well, that's 50. Hmm. Yeah, let's go ahead and get rid of Bubble. Honestly, like, I never use Bubble nowadays anyway. And that's a rock move, which might be useful for some other typings. So that's fine. They make their home in deserts. They can generate their energy from basking in the sun. So eating food is not a requirement. Cool. I still have no idea where I'm at right now. I'm going to use the... T can I see on the town map where the heck I am? I'm on Route 9. Okay. Ooh, okay. There's three Pokemon we can find here. Okay. Good. And actually, we got the rare spawn just then, so that's pretty good. Can we, like, go fast? Okay, cool. I was like, Ryan can just do it. Alright, can I just, uh, get off you for a minute here? Um... There we go. Please do not go anywhere. I still need you. Alright, a defense X. Cool. Okay. I'm guessing I can't go any I'm like trying to charge. Alright, well there's another item we should definitely grab. And while we're at it, we can also get some new Pokemon. And, and that is one of them. So... Ooh, Sandstream. I might end up killing him, but I would think the Hippo might have a little bit of a higher defense. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought he'd have a little higher defense. Yeah, let's go to Quick Attack it again. And I don't think I should kill it. I should definitely put it in the red, though. Okay. Well... That won't put me to sleep unless I don't catch it right here. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a Pokeball in. I also need to buy a couple more Great Balls. I've only got normal Pokeballs now. There we go. Alright. And then we just need Sand Dial. That's it. It lives in arid places. Instead of perspiration, it expels grainy sand from its body. Alright, very, very cool. Bonk. Okay, let's get down from it. Alright, paralyze heal. Let's jump back on the horsey. Have to turn around here, bud. All right, now we go this way. Smash. Bonk. 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 Um, I don't want to fight her just yet. I want to see what's up there, and I also need to catch this last Pokemon too. That's exactly what I need. I need the sand dial. Perfect. 
okay. My attack fell, which is actually very, very useful considering I don't want to kill it. Okay, good. Also gonna sneeze. Alrighty. Um, nope, I do not want a quick attack. Throw a ball. And we can go and throw a Pokeball at it. We will not throw a dive ball. Ooh, the sand dial did not want to stay in that hop. Yeah, here we go. Ball number two. Wow. Okay. This is a uh, aggressive sand dial, it seems. It is a max level sand dial for this route. So maybe that's it, but. Wow. And, and he's actually doing a good bit of damage to Frogadier here. Alright, well, one of these has to catch it eventually, so. Maybe this one? Thank you. Alright, Sand Dial was caught. And that is all of the Pokemon for this route, so we are good to go. It moves along below the sand surface, except for its nose and eyes. A dark membrane shields its eyes from the sun. Cool. Um, let's go this way first. I feel like there's an... I want to go this way first. Okay. Oh, wait, is this the right way to go? Here for a sky battle? Um... Okay. Um... Dust ball? Well, noted, don't pick sky battles because I don't have any sky Pokemon. Um, uh, okay, I can't get over there. But, duly noted. Um. Alright, now, question. I want to get that one. I don't know how to get it, but to be honest, I'm not really that worried about it. But it does look like I have to fight these people, so... Um, oh, please, do, do restore my health, por favor. What? It's easy to get lost inside the cage, just one step at a time. Oh, also, I really gotta make sure someone can learn Rock Smash on my team. I might actually straight up not have anybody to do it. And if that's the case, then I need to go back and grab someone. Ooh, Venipede is able. Dude, that's very, very clutch. If Venipede couldn't do it, um, I would actually be in a good bit of trouble here. So, Venipede, thank you. I appreciate that I brought you along. Very, very much so. Alright, now we're in the Glittering Cave. Um... Ooh, we can find a lot of Pokemon here. Wild Pokemon. Okay. There are quite a few Pokemon to catch here, so. Um, yes. Let's see, I need, I need Pokemon to jump out at me. Oh, okay. Cubone. Alright, good start. Um... I do not think a quick attack will kill it, because it's... Cubone is high defense. Yeah. Kill Whip. It's fine. Hopefully we don't crit here. Okay, good. That's probably gonna hurt a little bit. But... I'm um, gonna throw a ball here. Yeah, there's quite a bit of Pokemon to catch. Machop, Rhyhorn, Cubo, and Onyx, Luna Stone, Soul Rock, Wubat, Feral Seed, Genghis Khan, and Mawile. It's a lot. Hopefully I have enough Pokeballs to catch all of them. Um Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna probably cut it pretty close because there's ten. 
So it means I can only really throw two or three balls at each max. Alright, well, the cube one took two, so... Alright, well, we got the cube on. It wears a skull of its dead mother on its head. When it becomes lonesome, it is said to cry loudly. Very, very sad. Okay, so that end was not a good one. Where is the shaking areas? I don't... Let's see, give me another Pokemon here. Lunatone? Okay. I will definitely take a Lunatone. Go on, quick attack it. Ooh. A little stronger on this one, huh? Alright, we can probably hit it with a round and not kill it. Okay. Um... We could probably even hit it again with that round. Because it'll probably get it to the red here. Yeah, perfect. Psy wave, that's cool. Not, ooh, that kind of hurt, but we're fine. Alright, what is... The dust balls for dark places, right? Okay, again, we have an allowance of really just one or two or two to three balls per Pokemon, so um, I really can't have it jumping out of a bunch here. I need it to stay, like, pretty now. One, two, all right, let's go. All right, cool. Two balls. That's inside of our allowance here. All right, we gained some XP. Hop up to 18. Wismer to 20. I'm pretty sure Wismer is going to evolve here. Alright, and then the tone was added. Because it turns active on Nights of the Full Moon, it is said to have some link to the lunar phases. Pretty sure again, Wismer is going to... Yep, Wismer is... Oh, Hopip! Hopip and Wismer, Wismer are going to evolve. Classic. Music. There we go, we got a skip loom. And now we can evolve this with a leaf stone. And I think I actually have one. I don't know if I want to use it for that though. So I don't know. But we also got the Wismer evolving, which is nice. And I'll probably end up putting the Wismer back for a while. Just because I think to go to Exploud, it's like level 40 something. So I might do that later in the game. But, yeah. Yep, the wisdom involved in the loud dread. Um, uh, yeah, sure. Let's get rid of a howl. There you go. Cool. Must be pretty annoying to live next to a, like a group of those. Okay, there's the hearthstone, which is really the important item in here. Um, now here's my problem. I don't understand where it went wrong. Oh, there's the exit. Oh, I want some more shaking areas. Or do I probably have to exit the cave and come back in, right? To get those new spawns, right? Because I did get a couple of the Pokemon, but we we have quite a few more that we still need to catch. Oh, I did not mean to do that. Alright, let's go back in and see if those areas respawned. But it might be it might be quickest to Yeah, go in and out and come back to this area here. Alright, I'm a chop. That one is the 50%. So this is the one that we're gonna really get most often here. So we're gonna go ahead and get it out of the way right now. Low sweep. 
That should actually hurt a little bit. Okay. Again, would be nice if it just caught the first time just so I could kind of have a couple of extra balls on some other Pokemon here. Ah, of course. Leer. That's fine. Okay, come on. Come on, Machop. Stay in that ball. Let's go. Cool. Alright, good. Good, 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 good. And then a P to 19. Um... No. I don't want Poison Tail. That's fine. It has to gravel repeatedly to strengthen its entire body. It uses every type of martial arts. The thing that confuses me is martial arts was created by humans, and I don't understand how it can... L I mean, I guess it does spend a lot of time with humans. Like, where does it learn these martial arts, right? Um... Alright, so yeah, we're gonna have to keep hitting this uh, shaking area, or shaking area, but it's really just like a dark area. Okay, Lunatone, we already got one of those. What? Where did the darkness go? Well, let's go find another one, I guess. Ah, oh, but shop, where do you have another one of you? Yeah, I was pretty unlucky to get that Lunatone. That Lunatone's a 5%, so... That one was definitely unlucky. The Machop wasn't unlucky, because that's a 50% spawn, you know? Another Machop. Alright, here we go. A Rhyhorn, which is the 20%, so another one of the more common ones, but one that we do not have, so... I'm gonna quick attack it. Ooh, not effective in the slightest. Ow. Alright, I should probably heal. Let's go ahead and... yeah, let's go ahead and heal real quick. Just so we don't have to deal with maybe getting, you know, knocked out. I just don't want to deal with that. Or an attack. That's fine. Now, question. No, I will definitely kill it with... Alright, let's just keep doing rounds until we get it to the yellow and go from there. That was a lot more damage than I thought it would be. Now that makes me very happy because it's gonna make the catch easier, but wow, that was that that was a lot more than the quick attack. But it should be able to never mind. Alright. Again, two to three ball allowance on each, so. Hoping. Seems like most Pokemon were caught in the second ball, so this cave is a is a two-ball cave. I don't think a single one of them was in the first, but every single one was in the second. Except maybe the Machop was in the third. Strong, but not too bright. This Pokemon can shatter even a skyscraper with its charging tackles. I like Rhyhorn. It's one of the like OG Pokemon. Alright, another shaking area. Gimme... not that. So the ones that we still need are... Onyx, Soul Rock, Wubat, Ferro Seed, Genghis Khan, and Mawile. I will take that. Apparently I did not see that the first time. Definitely will not complain about that type of find. Okay, there's another... 
thingy majigger. Okay, we do not need that. Do not need that at all. Go ahead and do up. Gonna do the dash on that one. Okay, go in. Ooh, what the heck is that? Stop going. Oh, okay, David. Just don't touch. What in the world? What's this? Well, well, what do we have here? A noisy little trainer has come poking around. Listen up. We're the fashionable team whose very name makes people tremble in fear. Team Flair. Team Flair's goal is to make it, so we're the only ones who are happy. They don't care one bit about what happens to other trainers or Pokemon. Get out of here, kid. Don't you know not to play with fire? So don't. It doesn't really matter, though. Someday everyone not in Team Flair is going to get burned anyway. Okay. Um. No. Getting my fancy suit dirty isn't the stylish way to do things, but if you insist, I'll obliterate you. Alright, let's do it. You're challenged by Team Flare Grunt. Well, it looks like he has... Um... Fire Pokemon, which is really perfect. Um... Okay. Um, what else has he got? Wingle the 10. Nope, we'll keep. We'll keep this out. And then we'll do another water. Oh, I could have probably done a rock one, but that's fine. Okay. And we defeated the grunt. You may have beaten me, but when I lose, I go out in style. And we got a little bit of money for it. Thank you. What's this? You're a pretty tough Pokemon trainer for a kid, but watch yourself. I'm not the only member of Team Flare. 